Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for this theme, I'm going to use acrylic paints. So I'm gonna have the masking tape around all of the squares that I drew. You can faintly see this sketch underneath. I have a sunset scene on the main page as well as in one box on the other page as well. So for the sun, I am going to have the masking tape on top and cut the shape with the help of a pencil cutter. Do it for both the pages. Make sure you cut very carefully along the edges. Once we have all the cuttings and masking tape done, I'm going to start painting with the background with a flat brush. So since I have chosen um, sunset as the June theme, since it's summer and everything, so I'm going to use yellow and orange color mostly, but there are different shades of orange. Like I'm going to light it or darken it at places with the help of water or red color to make it a little darker. You can also add a little yellow to make it lighter or brighter. So for the background for the main page is done. So I'm moving on to the second page. Similarly, I'm going to add the darker orange shade uh, on the top and bottom of the um, sketch. I'm going to add yellow in the middle. So I'm making a darker shade right now for the lower box. I'm making the water waves on the lower box. That is why I need a darker shade in order to add more lighter or more darker shades um, afterwards. I'm doing the same color on this little box but I am not adding much layers since I want to write on top. Now for the detailings, I am adding a little darker shade which is a mixture of pink, red and orange. I'm using it to make the clouds as well as for the shadows of the waves, water waves. For these details, I'm using a smaller flat brush. Now to give it a more scenery look, you should add a landscape with a darker color. It doesn't particularly have to be the black color. I'm using black here since the background is very light, so I'm, uh, I wanted more contrast. That is why I'm using black. But you can use any darker shade. You can use uh, brown as well. But I personally think that black would look best. So make another darker shade of orange to add more details to the water. Then add a little uh, yellow mixed with a white to give it highlights. You can also add a little lighter shade or yellow underneath the white to give it more highlighted look. Once your scenery is a little dry, remove the masking tape from the sun. Start from a lighter shade of yellow and add more darker shades on top. Coming to the second scenery, here I'm using a mixture of red, pink and orange to give it a more um, contrasting look. I'm doing the clouds and water waves with it. Then blend the color a little. Then I'm just adding some white highlights. And since I thought that it lacked um, shadows, so I also added a darker shade beneath it, which will make the highlight pop up more. Now for painting the sun, similarly start with a lighter shade and go in with darker shades later. Once you're satisfied, leave it to dry. Now I'm just adding uh, colors to the palette. I've mainly used three colors, yellow, orange and a darker shade of orange. So uh, this is the same darker shade that I'm using for the waves. Just add some darker shade here and there. You can add as many shades as you want since when a water is reflected it um, shows a lot of colors but i think three to four shades are um, enough blend this darker shade with the yellow on top but make sure that yellow is prominent since it's going to give their highlights to give more highlights add white 
and don't just drag the white paint but uh, do it in dots for the reflection since I think that dots would look better mm, I actually made this mistake and dragged the uh, paintbrush but dots would have looked better now I'm just completing the palette and we are done with the paints so I've used four main colors which is a yellow, orange, black and white and the fifth color is actually the variation of the orange color now I'm just going to peel all the masking tapes off and honestly this is so satisfying to watch Yes, please don't mention I did make a mistake over here. Also, when I watched the video, I realized that I had also spilled some paint on this painting, which made me so mad, but it's okay. Things can happen. So once I'm, I'm going to peel all of these off, then I'm just going to outline it with a black marker or a pointer, whatever you want to use. It's not really necessary but I like to have a black boundary um, on the outer edges of my sceneries. I didn't do it with a black marker because it might have looked too bold. So just a single line from the black pointer is enough. I'm just going to outline these circles as well. And don't make it a perfect circle or perfect outline. A messy one looks kind of better. Now I'm just going to use this Pigma brush marker to write the titles. This little box is for the calendar so I'm going to write uh, this uh, the calendar title on top. I'm also going to make a calendar on top of this water scenery. Now for the main month title um, since it was a whole scenery and the colors were quite bright so I chose to write it in a very simple cursive writing with a simple black marker. Now for this mistake I thought the paint would come off later but I was wrong so I'm just going to attach this paper with the same um, coat and in the same place so it would hide that spill mark. And this is the final cover page for June. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. Also all the supplies used in this video will be mentioned in the description box below. Thank you for watching.